All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today we're back for another Steam tutorial talking about how to set launch options for your different games in the event that something is kind of hinky with them and you need to do something like, say, force them to start in full screen mode or windowed mode or various other settings so that you can either troubleshoot them or just get them to boot up in a way that you can adjust settings internally in the first place. So in order to access things like in-game settings, all you have to do is go to right-click, Properties, and you can set launch options here. This allows you to force the game through Steam's interface to do a variety of different things to its settings. And all you're doing is entering like a dash, full screen or dash windowed and it'll force the game to launch in windowed mode and if you're not really sure what a lot of the options are to place inside of this screen you can actually find them on the web under common launch options for steam or i just type in like steam launch options into google and this gives you a whole host of options, both developer options, which if you don't know what you're doing, I would recommend you stay away from all of that information. But you can do things like force the developer console to be enabled and open in the game when you launch it. But more of the stuff that I'm interested in are the ones right down here. These are things like forcing it to start in full screen mode or windowed mode or setting the resolution yourself so that it behaves itself. And you can also set it to auto config when you first start it up in the event that you adjusted some of the settings yourself, either manually or in the game and something got all messed up. You can use auto config to fix what it is that you borked. So in this case, I want window dash windowed. And I want to force Moonlighter to launch in windowed mode. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type dash window. Is it dash window or dash windowed? It is dash windowed, not just window. So we'll click OK and close that. And let's see what Moonlighter does when I boot this puppy dog up. And there you can see it was forced to boot up into windowed mode so that you can at any time, you know, adjust things. Most of the time, the issue that I have is like it starts really big and part of it. Whoa, I guess it went back into full screen mode. But most of the time when I have issues with something like this, it's because like the game starts up really funny and it's like off the screen and I can't find the settings page or buttons or whatever. That's when I usually have to use that feature. But that's how you access that. It doesn't always work as described the same way in every game. I believe it depends on how well developers have implemented that. But occasionally you'll run into people recommending that you set the launch options. So this is where you find them in the event that you need them. And there's a lot of other options inside of the properties menu. Inside of here, you can talk about like update settings where you can keep it up to date or tell it to not worry about it. Only update it when you launch it or so and so. And this is also where you can force it to download a beta version and occasionally some developers require you to put in a password that they give out to select users in order to access the beta. So all that stuff is inside of here. So that's it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. I've been your host, Larry. This has been how to access launch options inside of Steam for a specific game. I hope you found this useful. And until next time, I've been your host. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And bye, everybody.